Hello guys and welcome to Ryan GB Flying Historical Battles. Yesterday we saw some um, well a, a showcase of how to fly Boom and Zoom to to the extreme. And now we are going to see another instance of that but from the other point of view. Uh, this P40 in question was very well flown and I mean an MC202 and I'm going to avoid his pass. This is how you fight off uh, Boom and Zoom boss. Uh, avoid his passes and uh, their passes and uh, try to come back and them to force them to um, lose energy uh, at least that's the theory if you are in a plane that climbs or accelerates better which is usually is the case Boom and Summer planes usually don't climb or accelerate very well you can see the P40 there is doing uh, wide vertical moves uh, Boom and Zoom um, dive and pull away and it's not actually sticking into the um, the battle with me. So how do I fight him off? Well, I keep my speed up and when I spot his moving towards me, I try to um, go offensive on him. Back there it seemed like as if he was going to make a vertical reversal on me, but in the end he did it. Uh, but I don't keep it up. I don't put my nose so straight up that I lose, lose all my speed because my speed is what I used to maneuver I want to keep my speed uh, more or less up so when the moment comes that he's going to boss me I can uh, avoid him uh, now we see he's diving for those guys who are trailing uh, another American plane I give a six wo a call, a six warning uh, I'm never going to catch up. The P40 uh, dies very, very well. And you're going to see it in later videos when I actually am flying a P40. Um, so I don't try to keep uh, follow him. I'm cutting his angles. I'm predicting where is going to be his pullout maneuver. And uh, I'm going to head directly to that place. Because that will m place me close to him and in a good situation to try to intercept him. There you go, he's pulling up, and you can see I'm winning a lot of speed on him, I'm closing very, very quickly. As he's pulling up, I'm coming down. Now I level off, but he also does so. That guy was flying Boom and Zoom style by the book. He leveled off, used his superior high speed retention, and... I'm closing now, but not at the rate I was doing it, be, uh, it before. And at this moment, it's pretty obvious he's heading for the enemy airbase. So, for a moment, I, I'm going to break chase. I'm going to forget about him because um, there's I want him to lure him into thinking I'm quitting the chase. So there you go, I fake that I'm going for this lower guy. You can see I'm not going to pull a lot, I'm just going to shoot. Miss a lot, by the way, because my aim sucks. And pull up. And there you go, he's turning back. It's what I wanted to achieve. So what I do is to go vertical, check the other guy, I don't want him to become a problem. And now I'm spotting that guy is hiding in NTR Afghans. So what I'm going to do is to clear uh, the enemy base of NTR Afghans. So you can see all the time th that guy is keeping his um, oh some pot shots at that Carolina. I'm not going to kill him, of course, but well, why not? Um, you can see the guy was keeping his altitude keeping his energy, not becoming really aggressive and now he's using the entire defense for his protection so it's in my interest to kill as many of them, of them as he can and then go for him because of course now he's maneuvering, now he's trying to um, fight the, the other place we have here There you go, more AA kills. Anti-aircraft. 
Just not a lot to see. This is just pre preventive <laughs> shooting. Okay, here he comes. I break to avoid his pass. I go in the vertical. He's much faster. I'm not going to um, be able to follow his zoom up. But I want to keep as much speed as I can because you are seeing here he's going vertical. So I'm going to have to avoid at least one more pass. Or maybe not because actually that guy is going to go for another of our, of our planes. But as long as you feel uh, under the risk of being bounced, keep your speed up. You can see now I'm doing a high yo-yo, I'm not keeping my speed up, I'm trading speed for altitude. That's because that guy is not coming for me. There you go, he has done another boom and he's zooming again. So level off. My speed is at 350 km per hour. I'm trying to lure him into thinking I'm much lower in energy. I'm I'm lower, but I'm faster than him right now. So there you go, I can do a direct climb for him. Level out. He's higher than me. But I can accelerate much better than him, so I'm going to use that acceleration and climb rate. There you go, he's maneuvering. And I'm not going to push for this. He's doing his move. Perfect. I just lag follow him. Do a low yo-yo. Cut his angles because I'm spotting where he is and I'm sure he's going to zoom up again. There you go, he's zooming up. But now I'm at 500 km per hour. Whatever zoom he has, I'm going to match. Because I'm at... I, he was uh, much lower than me when he started the zoom. There you go. Closing into him. He's doing a pure vertical move, but I got him totally. Totally of war. So, how to kill a boom and zoomer? Stay on the defensive. Try to give him as difficult shots as you can, never go directly up for him until you are sure you have the energy to do so. Try to build up speed, try to hide that um, big speed, uh, faking you are in a much lower energy state. It's what I did there. I was lower, the guy thought I was much, much, much lower in energy than him. But I was much faster, so actually our energetic situation was pretty much equal. Okay. So that's how you finish up a boom and zoomer. So now let's see some P40 flying. And let's start with a very short clip in Ruhr going against the Germans and using the P40. Uh, we have already a decent altitude. Uh, it's put a Henkel 112, another Henkel 112. Uh, here I'm tracking if he's coming up for me or not. He's not, so I'm cool. Uh, BF-110, another Henkel-112, wow, there are a lot of Henkel-112s in this battle. So, I'm the high guy here, I have the energy, so as soon as I, I spot he's moving towards me, I go in the vertical. Well, I mean, I, I don't think I really have to explain what I'm doing here, because you, you see me doing it in every of my videos. Still, I didn't push for a hammer, I uh, just uh, moved it down as soon as I saw the guy was out of speed. Some hits, not a lot, that was not a really good burst. Okay, keep track on what's around, I see another Henkel 112, that one is higher, so it's going to be my priority target. When you are boom assuming, you want to uh, select always the guy with the highest energy state. You want to target it and bounce it to force him to maneuver very hard and to burn that energy and to stop being um, the main threat. Of course here that 112 went for the P40, but still you never know. So yeah. Now I see that port of P40 is turning very very close and that's not really the smart thing to do, but he's giving me a good uh, chance to take a shot at that Henkel 112, but he avoids me. So, I break, I shoot at this other one, I also miss. Was not an easy, an easy shot, to be honest. 
The P40 has a problem with the rudder. It's not. It's, I don't know if it's a problem or if it was like this. The thing is that the rudder seems very, very irresponsible uh, with mouse and keyboard. So you have to perfectly line up your shots. There you go, critical on that guy. Extending, now I come back. The hi yo yo. Drop on him. Adjust for his path. Let loose and he's dead. So, yep, yeah, that's one way of flying the P40. Let's see another video. This time in Korea against the Soviets. Uh, I spot a low LA7, LA5. And in this battle, you are going to really see the rudder problems this plane has. Uh, it's very hard to adjust for. Uh, th there you go, I can't adjust horizontally for this uh, pass. So I have to extend and zoom away. He's coming behind me. I don't care a, a single bit because I'm much higher in the than him. So I go straight in the vertical. He's coming back uh, after me, but yeah. He can shoot all he wants, he simply can't aim. He's uh, hanging on his prop, so... Hammer! The play flaps. Okay, here we are in the dive, we are winning uh, speed. I try to compensate for his maneuver. I try to predict where he's going to be. Open fire and totally miss again because the water is non-existent in this game, in this plane. I mean, all planes have good and bad sides. The P4 is a fantastic uh, plane, but really that rather issue is... Uh, gets, gets the best of me now and then. He's trying, again, this is what you never do against a boomerang plane. Go in the vertical, because then... He drops the nose and he has a free shot at you, at you. Again, predicting his movement. Now I get a pretty decent here, series of hits. I badly overshoot, badly, badly, badly overshoot. Have messed it up. This is what you don't ne never do. But he gets taken out by someone else. Uh, my problem there was that I actually forgot <laughs> to put my throttle up to 100% in the dive. Oh look, AI. Wow, I'm such a pro. Uh, <laughs> uh, the problem in that dive was that I actually forgot to uh, put the the engine power at uh, top at the top. So when I actually went past him, I was too so, uh, too. Um, slow to uh, zoom away, so I had to uh, turn with him and close and gaze him. Close and gaze him. Next in line, P40, that's the premium, so big one. Check his direction. I'm much, much faster, of course, there's no question, I'm going to catch up with him. Okay, there he is. He's uh, doing a break turn. I try to adjust, but it's impossible. Oh, that lack of rudder really is miserable. I do extension. Check around. I don't want surprises. And then it's time to come back. He's been bounced by another P40. So again, well, tracking him. See how extreme I have to to roll, how extremely I have to roll to compensate for his moves. Some hits. I don't follow. I zoom. Spot him. Just in case he's coming for me, he's not. So I do a high yo-yo and drop him again. Okay, this is not a good angle, so I'm not going to take it. Instead, I do a lag roll. Turn down on him. 
Uh, but I don't have the proper name. So again, hi yo yo. Now he's giving me a much, 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 much better shot, and there you go, he's on fire and now dead. There's a lot of discussion about the 50 calls in the game. Uh, I don't think they are underpowered or overpowered. I think they are more or less spot on. Uh, if you get um, that kind of uh, hits, I mean, a regular convergence, distance, uh, burst, you deal fatal damage in very, very quickly. Um, they might be a little bit weak. I don't really know. But I don't think they are hopeless at all. So I-15 there, I-L2 down there I-L2 is being engaged by an F4U Who is head-owning him, I don't really get that but And again Let's put my, our plane in the proper attitude so that convergence and see what happens. And what happens is a pretty fast. Now, later in the game, um, SB2M, a bomber, I don't care about it, and LA5. The LA5 I do care about. So, that's a very powerful plane, so I want to play my cards wisely. The SBM can go to hell for all I care. The LA2, LA5 is maneuvering. Very close horizontal turn. And I'm waiting to see if he goes directly for me. He does, so vertical move. Now he's about to hang on his prop, and then is when I come down on him. And right now, even while the LA5 is, is a much better accelerator, uh, if I play my cards right, this um, battle is in the back. Here he comes again, I come back in the vertical again, and then I go. I'm not going to accept head-ons, I'm not going to uh, rush, I'm not going to, I mean, I have all the time in the world, I have the altitude, I have the energy, I have the position, I have everything I need to kill this guy. What I don't have is enough ammo, which is going to be a serious pity. Uh, and I don't have a rudder either, but <laughs> that's besides the point. Some hits in the first pass, they zoom away. See if he's lured into turning into me, seems he is. And again, you know the, the drill. If he comes up, I go up, he'll go down first, and I go behind him. Hammer at the top, bring the nose down. Some good hits. Some again. And it's, it's just keeping this up all the time. So again, vertical reversal, hammer at the top, nose down, let's go for it. He seems to have um, given up on trying to come for me, so I'm going to go for, go for him instead. So hits, awful aiming. There you go, no rudder at all. Impossible to compensate for lateral display and, um, displacement. Go down again. And this time I'm going to try to come closer because I know I have very few ammunition. But even then I don't get hits. And I'm about to get out of ammo. Still he's clearly damaged. 
Now I get a critical and I'm out of combat. But sadly, that guy didn't die. No, he didn't. He went back to base, repaired, and so I did. I went back to base, reloaded. What happened in the end? You are about to see it in a second. And well, what happened was that, uh, you look at that, I have an F4U in front of me, I just uh, off the land strip, I have taken off and I'm looking for the enemy. But yes, just happens that somehow, I don't know how, that LA-5 had transported behind me. I mean, the F4U had never seen it, I didn't see it either, so I don't know exactly how he achieved it to be there. I don't know if Soviet planes now have cloaking devices. <laughs> Uh, maybe I should have looked behind, but I mean, I was totally sure he was still, still in front of me. But well, whatever, this goes to, to prove that you can never, never, never feel safe. And you have to always check about. So, well, yeah, this is all for today's video. Uh, you have seen how to fight against Puma Summers. And yet again, another instance of a Puma Zoom plane, um, well, flying to his, his strengths. Um, I hope you liked it, I hope you uh, had fun and as always guys thank you very much for watching and see you later.